This is Cora. Cora has gotten a written permission to talk about her and her gin daughter, Ginger. Um, this is in Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. We work with Cora for two years, once a month. And she came in in a wheelchair. And when I asked her what she had for lunch at 2 PM, no recollection, none at all. She couldn't remember anything. She couldn't find her way anywhere. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Month by month, we changed her diet, we supplemented her, we gave her the brain and body food, and month by month, she got better. After six months, she said, my knees are so painful and inflamed, that's why I'm in a wheelchair, what can I do? Well, we looked at her diet, and she was eating fast food all the time, especially chicken. Chicken's really high in this inflammatory arachidonic acid. So she had already stopped eating meat, now she stopped eating chicken, the next month, she came back on a walker instead of a wheelchair. Hey, she's getting some movement. And she's starting to brighten up. You can see the lights coming on. Over time, she graduated to a cane. Her migraines went away. Her mood improved greatly, and, uh, which is nice, because apparently she was, like many people with Alzheimer's disease, a bit abusive of her caretakers. And sometimes this can be from the drugs, too. Uh, so you should ask your doctor or neurologist for an adjustment of drugs if you're Alzheimer's patient is being abusive. After two years, she was able to walk up with no cane to the front of a hospital dedication in front of hundreds of doctors and read what she'd written to the doctors saying that she was fully recovered and she can now read medical journals. And when we asked her husband, how is she doing? He says, I can see no room for improvement. How's her daughter, how's her memory? Sharp. So I'm not saying everyone, yes, thank you. And they did the work, okay? We didn't do the work, they did the work. We tell people what to do all the time and they don't do it. <laughs> but they did the work and I'm really proud of them. Not everyone with Alzheimer's disease can make this full, full recovery. But hey, isn't there hope at least for stopping neurodegeneration? One of the things that happens with these amyloid plaques is they get populated by advanced glycation end products. These advanced glycation end products are twisted, plasticized protein fragments that when you fry or broil or barbecue animal foods like meat or chicken or fish, these form. And then some of them are absorbed into the bloodstream. Some studies doubling the bloodstream level. Then they circulate to the brain where unfortunately we have a receptor appropriately named RAGE, receptor for advanced glycation end products. This creates a amazing amount of inflammation in the brain. And the advanced glycation end products go up and lodge in the amyloid plaques and create 50 times the free radical damage to the brain cells and destruction of brain cells. By not eating those foods, you can really relieve the burden on your brain, whether or not you have Alzheimer's disease. They're also found in arthritic joints. Good thing to avoid. Uh, so what we did is we asked people not to barbecue, broil, or deep fry any meat or animal products of any kind. And also, they're formed in hard cheeses, so we had people not do that. Guess how the compliance was? Not too good. A lot of fast foods are deep fried and crispy brown with lots of advanced glycation end products. So it was tough. It was pretty tough. The foods with advanced glycation products, chicken, bacon, beef, chicken, chicken, beef, chicken, chicken, beef, chicken, turkey, you get the idea. Now, the problem with these animal products is not just advanced glycation end products. They also have or organochlorine pesticides, rancid oils if they're deep fried, harmane, which increases tremors, especially in essential tremor, very common, arachidonic acid for inflammation and pain, endotoxins for blood inflammation and brain inflammation, oxysterols, which I've mentioned, excess saturated fat, and lack of the anti-inflammatories in plant foods.